Good morning, everyone. My name is Frances, and we are so glad to have you here with us today. This is the second week of Advent. Advent is a time when we prepare and wait in expectation of the birth of Jesus on Christmas. More than anything, it is a time of great wonder and mystery. In the first week of Advent, we talked about hope and how we have hope because God is with us. Last week, we talked about peace, and we talked about the Hebrew word for peace, shalom, which means wholeness and wellness. This is the third Sunday of Advent, and it has a special name. It's called Godet Sunday, or Rejoice Sunday. If you have an Advent wreath with three purple candles and a pink candle, this is the week to light the pink candle. Our focus for this week is joy. Joy is not the same as being happy and it isn't about ignoring sadness. We can feel sad or be full of sorrow and yet rejoice. Joy is an attitude that God's people have because of our hope in God's love and promise. Our story this morning comes from the book of Luke. Before the angel came to Mary to tell her that she would give birth to a baby, an angel visited a different couple. Their names were Elizabeth and Zechariah. They were people who loved God, but they were getting old and had never been able to have a child. Elizabeth was also Mary's cousin. An angel told Zechariah that his prayers had been heard and that they would have a son and to name him John, and that this baby would bring many people back to God and prepare the way for the Messiah that they were all waiting for. Months later, when the angel appears to Mary and tells her that she will have a baby and name him Jesus, this angel also tells Mary that her cousin Elizabeth is expecting a baby too. The Bible tells us that Mary didn't waste a minute. She hurries with quickness and travels to see her cousin Elizabeth. They had waited so long and she can't help but be excited and filled with joy. She has to see her cousin. We read that when Elizabeth heard the sound of Mary's greeting, the baby in Elizabeth's womb leapt for joy. This baby, John, we know grows up to become John the Baptist, who was sent to go before Jesus as a messenger to God's people. Even in the womb, he leaps for joy about the coming of the one, of Jesus, who would fulfill all of our hopes and give us peace. We have joy because God is with us, and this coming of Jesus brings such great joy. When Jesus' birth was announced to the shepherds on the hill, the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. That's all for me this week. If you are joining us in person, kids, you can come to the front and join us upstairs for some in-person time together. If you're joining us online, we are so glad that you were able to spend this time with us today, and we hope to see you in person soon. Bye.